hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel um yeah so an update on the helmet build so yeah i didn't do a really good job of recording video of the process or anything but yeah so here's the helmet after it's been um i used resin to cover the lines and uh primed it sanded it or resin sanded it primed it and then painted it with uh, some spray paint but yeah it's it's a uh, Pretty nice little build. Um, it's now roughly a week later. And I haven't really made much progress on it because um, you know, I've been working. But yeah, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's a pretty nice finish so far. Unfortunately, just like literally like right now, I dropped it and then I cracked it. So you can see there's a crack, a hairline crack, and then on this side too. So this whole front piece is just kind of like falling apart, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can see it on the other side, actually. Um, can't really see it that well where the crack is. Um, but it's that, it's that edge right here. Maybe you can see it right there, maybe. But yeah, anyways. But it's okay. This is a prototype. So this is where I'm just learning how to, to print it and finish it and, and, you know, see what's wrong with it and... You know, now on the next print, which I am going to start today, um, I'm going to print it out of um, PLA. So this is printed from um, ABS. And uh, I like it. it. It took a long time and it took a, it took a really long time, actually, and to learn how to do it correctly. But um, it took a lot of tries, but it was worth it. Uh, and it's pretty strong. Um, so my, again, my next, uh, print will be, um, PLA and see how that turns out. But, but yeah, so yeah, so this is XCC 3D. It's like a resin and you just mix it like a resin. So it, it's a resin. <laughs> um, it's like the same type of stuff almost that they use in carbon, but what it does is it, it covers the lines up and makes it nice and smooth and and it makes it easier to sand it's easier to sand um this resin than it is to sand the 3d models or the the uh the abs itself i find i don't know just my opinion but yeah this stuff is awesome i really like this stuff uh, yeah so um so that's that helmet and then so i had bought some 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 polycarbonate here to make the lens and you know this is i spent um, most of the day yesterday doing it but this is a uh, 0.006 millimeter polycarbonate and it's supposed to just go in there like that and it took quite a while to to make the mock-up and, and fit it in there but then once i dropped it and cracked it i was like you know what I'm gonna get started on the next um, 3D print. So yeah, so that's version two. And they're the first one I messed up. Um, I pretty much used, so you can see, I used a like a like a piece of paper. It's hard to film and show at the same time, but um, I I used uh, this tape, which is. It's made by 3M. It's a it's a it's a 3M 471, and it's like a vinyl tape, and it's really easy to to stretch it and get these like like nice lines, right? And do these nice curves. Um, they use it for car painting, um, for finishing fine details. So that's where I, I learned about that. Um, yeah, so I, I first I, I did it on paper, which is what this is. You can see the paper right there. Um, and then I, yeah, so I, I put it on there, then I cut it out. I made sure to make, you know, I just, I just kept on going back and forth between the paper and this and that and fitting it to see if it works. And so far, it kind of works. I have to heat it up to, to bend it to make it match, but, but yeah, it'll work. Um, so you can see the bend lines where I'm going to put, but, uh, yeah, not a very, not a very easy process. It took, a, it, it, this takes a long time to do. And if you're not, if you don't, if you're not, if you don't have any good, like craftsmanship skills, it's hard to, 
hard to um hard to uh guess to get hopefully the sound on this on this video is okay i had just gotten my brand new machine 56 jacket um and yeah i'm wearing it right now <laughs> even though i'm indoors i love this jacket but yeah anyways all right it's time to try pla again <laughs> So we're gonna replace that giant spool of ABS with this new, well, <laughs> replace a shelf first with the new holder, replace the ABS with PLA. So now we're gonna test out some new stuff here on the printer. Um, oh, also, I swapped out the old springs with, um, with polyurethane, so We'll see how that turns out. So now I have to do some auto leveling. All right, cool. So new helmet being started right now. Hopefully I have enough glue there. I don't think I have enough, but let's see how the first layer goes. Uh, yeah, but the last helmet took three days and like 10 hours. This one is only gonna take like um, two days and like a couple hours or something. But yeah, um, now I'm printing with PLA instead of ABS. So let's see how that goes. So yeah, here's the print file and you can see I even increased the thickness of the walls here and this is PLA by the way so I increased the thickness of the walls here uh, I increased the thickness of that the, this wall here too and somehow the prints came out yeah it's still two days so here like I put more material here and I put more material here too so it's interesting that even though I put more material or more space between here and here, like it's still print, it's still gonna print out two two hours in two days, or two days in two hours. I wish it printed out two hours, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So, but yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna how it's gonna look. Yeah. So, hopefully you can hear me. But uh, here's the helmet on my face. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good and fits pretty good. Yeah, again, as I was saying, on the first helmet, it was too tight on the ears. So, like, once you start putting padding and stuff on inside, it's going to be too tight. But I kind of like this because, like, I don't even need any straps. But maybe I might add, I might remove more space. So then I can add straps. Might be better, you know, for people with different faces. I was a little worried that, um... People with bigger noses wouldn't fit, but it looks like it clears my my it clears my face by a good inch or so. So you know, there's more than enough space for for people's noses. But yeah, it's pretty good glare. All right, so I'm in my garage now, and and I can show you guys like the resin that I put on. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty shiny <laughs> and it works really well. Actually, I might, I might've missed a spot, but, uh, yeah, this, this stuff is awesome. It's just part A, uh, part B says somewhere, but, uh, yeah, um, two part, uh, two to one ratio and you just paint it on and you let it, let it, uh, settle it settles in all the, the the little grooves so that way you don't have to sit there sanding or priming over and over again um awesome stuff yeah normally it's supposed to set in like 15 minutes but it's so cold here where i am <laughs> that it takes a lot longer so it gives me more time to to uh to lay it on but well, actually, if you put less of this stuff, it should, 
it you know more of this and less of this so yeah more of this less of this then it should um what is what is it called cook or um i don't know it should it should set slower so so the more of this you use the slower it'll set but yeah so yeah now i just gotta wait for it to to dry it's good uh, I could start sanding. Yeah, so again, that's that's the first one that came out. Um, and then I redid it. This is the second one. Oh no, this is the second one. It's all, uh, I guess resin, it has resins to, to fill all the layer lines. I haven't sanded it yet. Like this is what it would look like when I sanded it. And then I, and then I painted it. I oh, sanded. So resin, sanded, primered, and painted. And this is how it looks like before. So you can see all the, all the layer lines and stuff. But uh, yeah, as you can see the new update, I removed the, um, that little detail. It was really hard to, to make it look good. And, and then I also, Made it, made it thicker too so you can see like the sidewalls are a lot thicker yeah and I realized there was a lot more space there so I I, I pushed the spacing wider so that way it won't sit so tight on on, on your heads so but yeah it's uh it's coming along oh by the way I also printed um, the lens for uh, the stencil that I'm gonna use so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace a piece of paper out and put it onto the the polycarbonate and then cut it out, or or maybe even create a pattern and then and then like vectorize it and send it to get um, to get laser cut, which is I think is the right route. So yeah, there you have it. There's the update for this video. Um, the whole video took about a week, so. Hopefully, I can pop out to two to three videos, uh, one to two videos a week, get you guys updated on this. But the next step would be to sand that guy, get the lens, and, and finish just one, just to see how it looked like. Put all the stickers on, get the get the paint correct. So I'm I'm, I'm debating whether to make it just one flat color one solid color or do the two to two tone color that i have in my sketches and right now i'm really leaning towards making it a solid color so it's either going to be a solid flat black or a solid flat red with, with bits of gloss i don't know we'll see we'll see how it comes out but anyways yeah thank you for watching and see you guys soon